Hello guys, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to another tutorial. Today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how can you make uh, your text bounce in Adobe After Effects CC. Um, this is a second tutorial on Adobe After Effects. And we're going to be starting to do something awesome in here. So let's get started right here. So we're going to go ahead and grab the text tool, which is at the top right here. I'm not going to be showing you guys how to import your text. I'm just going to be showing you the universal, universal tutorial, simple tutorial. I'm um, nothing really hard to get. So we're going to grab the text tool, type in your name. There we go. Center it. Uh, I'll choose the color um, blue. Okay. So next we've got a text here. What you're gonna do is I'm gonna add in some effects. I'll come right back. I'll speed up the video so you guys can see what I'm doing. And yeah. Okay guys, now I have finished my text. Now it looks pretty much awesome and we're going to be animating it and just making it bounce actually. So this will be a really short tutorial because I really need to be quick and I really want to upload this tutorial. So let's go ahead and click on the text and hit S on your keyboard and it should autom automatically set your frame to 100%. Um, if it doesn't, make sure you get to the perfect size of your um, text here and uh, pre-compose it which is right pre-compose and then you should get an original size which is a 100 so basically you do if you don't get an uh, original size do is just center it up make it look nice just pre-compose it and then press s and then you should get the perfect size now we're gonna be keyframing it. It's pretty simple. You don't need any effects or anything. All you need is keyframing. Key we're just gonna zoom in here a bit. Uh, and yeah, so go further uh, ahead. Press on the keyframe button and make sure the first. So we will. Re uh, I recommend you guys get three keyframes. But for the first keyframe right here, you want to make sure it is an original size. And go ahead and go further a bit. And bump it down a bit to maybe 90. Two. Uh, let's do 87. Okay. Pop it down. Go further again. Make it up to 100 percent. 100 percent. Yeah, 100 percent. So, uh, make sure the first keyframe is the original size. The second keyframe is um, 97 or just below 100. Third keyframe is the original size. So let's preview it. Uh, It's pretty slow, as you guys can see, so we're gonna make them together right here. Where's the another keyframe? Okay, so we're gonna drag three of these keyframes here and just ram preview it. That was really fast. So let's go ahead and I'll make it a bit slower. Okay, let's ram preview this. Uh, pretty cool. Yes, let's just make it further apart a bit. Okay, that's pretty slow um, perfection. <laughs> Let's put it here. And let's do that. Uh, this should look nice. Yep, that's the text box. So you don't really have to keep doing this over and over. You can just basically uh, copy the keyframes, Control C, and then paste. And shit, what did I do? Uh, go further ahead and make sure these keyframes are highlighted. Press another one, 
make sure these keyframes are highlighted, paste. Uh, you can just keep doing this over and over, guys. Which is pretty useful, and you don't really have to keep keyframe it again. So we say doom, doom, doom. That's pretty cool. Add some music, make it bump, make it pump to the beat, make it like bounce to the beat. And yeah, this is how you do it. It's a really quick tutorial. Um, so I'm gonna mention again, make sure the first keyframe is the original size. The second keyframe is below 100. And third keyframe is the orig original size. So this is really cool. You can use this for intros, outros, and many other things. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to leave a like if you did. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Peace out.